Why? Because you want to be the only pussy grabber on the show? Is that why you want to be the only pussy grabber on the set, Quentin Tarantino? Oh, this is bullshit. already done so please like and share this video because it is so important to my success here on the YouTube now let's talk about these lies child so let's talk about this old cool man cool papa this ninja is blowing the game up and you can tell like he was an old cool dude who basically can get any woman that he want because he real smooth and he ain't afraid to put that work in if he needed to but whoever this guy is, I'm telling you, if you've ever come in contact with this dude, Ninja, just go on and just move out of the country. It's kind of um, uh, a big deal because what happened with Cosby is that he's been accused of all these different things. And, and for you to reference to say that you're, she's your wife now, but at one point wasn't your wife. And Cosby grabbed her. Right. How did you? Find Cosby wasn't my wife when he grabbed her ass. Right, right. I don't. I, I would have said. Uh, uh, no, she wasn't. I would have stepped to Mr. Cosby. Fuck, fuck all of that. Right. And it happened again with Quentin Tarantino. Mm. And this is the the nature of Hollywood. And I think I was married 15, 20 years deep. Mm. And my wife called me. Uh, he grabbed my who? Who else? Calm down. Who grabbed you? First, he was telling me how pretty my titties are. Oh, uh, you showing him your titties? No. He says, looking at it. And then he wants to see him. And he tried, who the fuck are you talking about? Right. Quentin Tarantino. Jackie Brown was the movie. Wow. And I said, what do you mean he's trying to grab your titties? Now, Robert Stevenson, who was a brother working on it, because he worked with Sam Jackson. And Tarantino was after my wife so hard. Then my wife, not now. Okay. He was after her so hard that because she didn't respond, he kicked her in her ass. And when he kicked her in her ass, Sam Jackson came to a rescue. She called me crying. I said, what do you mean? Did your brother step to this? What's going on? And she said, Sam stopped him. Said, Sam who? Sam Jackson. Okay, I'm coming. I'm on my way. I'll be there. Give me a pass. I called my boy up. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. And I was going to... <laughs> Wait till you know, I've been on movie sets before, so I know how I go. We rolling. It's super quiet. And I told her, I said, here's what I'm going to do. When they start rolling, I'm going to kick him in his ass so fucking hard. I hope I can drive his tailbone up in his spine. I don't kick him with iron boots on. If he just take the ass kicking how I plan on kicking him and collapse, it's over. I'm going to say whatever I'm going to say to him. I'm going to put your hand on him and, and it's over. If he, if this ass kicking doesn't work and he has some strength to fight and he have people around, and I had a crew that we all going to come in here together. We're going to handle that. And my wife said to me at that time, if you do that, <laughs> if you do that, I will put the police on you. So that's the nature of Hollywood. Those jobs. This is my wife, 20 years in. You called me crying because of what this did to you. Sam Jackson came to your rescue. I'm coming to finish it. You say you put the police on me. So what I look at in terms of what's going on in Hollywood, one of the things that really stuck out is that it started with Harvey Weinstein and all the nonsense we've heard. Mm -hmm. But the only two black men that have went to jail it's Bill Cosby. So, you know, before I did a video concerning Paul Mooney and Richard Pryor, okay? Oh, Richard Pryor's son. Oh, my God. That's the, Paul Mooney was so stressed out, that ninja went into the hospital. That ninja canceled shows and went into the hospital. You heard me. This video that he just recently did, oh, he called out Quentin. Now, we knew about Bill, but we ain't know about Quentin. I don't know. I am a huge Quentin Tarantino fan only because I knew that he had a propensity for the, you know, African-American cocoa butter. Okay. I knew it. I'm not surprised that his wife is ethnic. You know, from what I understand about uh, Quentin Tarantino, yeah, he liked the way we smell and taste. Rashawn, cool pop pop to be like, well, my wife was on Jackie Brown. And for her to say that Quentin Tarantino told her out loud that I like your boobs, I'm not surprised. Because like I said, that man has a propensity to want something of color. Something that smells like Bath and Body Works and cocoa butter. Child, you know us black women, we got that Bath and Body Works on lock. You heard about us look and taste like cocoa butter. So I just knew 
that the man wasn't lying. I don't know who his wife is. So like, I'm like Jackie Brown, one of my favorite Quentin Tarantino movies. Love every last one of his movies, except for maybe Kill Bill, 1, 2, 3, 18, and 97. I don't like them. But, you know, I just liked Quentin Tarantino's big head, ugly ass. We all know. Let's not pretend that Quentin is an attractive man. He is not. Okay? Any pussy that he get, you know he buying it. He paying for it, you know. He's so fine. She's so fine. There's no telling where the money went. So let's do this. Let me give you a bit of information from what I found from Rashawn Khan. So when he said that he has been on movie sets before, he's not lying. Rashawn Khan is known for his work on Stealth. That's from 2005. Bulletproof, 1996. And Jarhead, 2005. He is also the cousin of Flip Wilson. So he did mention Flip Wilson a couple of times in the interview, child. But the only one... The only thing that I can hone in on was that Quentin Tarantino, you know, was trying to squeeze his woman's titties. Went to Google like Jackie Brown. I wanted to know like who his wife was, but I couldn't figure it out. I thought it might have been, um, of course, Pam Greer, but it couldn't have been Pam Greer. Not that, you know, Rashawn Khan wouldn't have went behind Richard Pryor and like tried to hunch on her after, you know, Richard Pryor. But, you know, Pam Greer and Richard Pryor were together uh, from like 76 to 79 or 70, something like that. Like in the mid 70s, it wasn't for a long time. It was for a short period. So I thought it was Pam Greer because he kept saying my wife, my wife. And I'm like, who the hell is your wife? Dude, say who it is. So the only thing that I can think is that it was one of, you know, like the side actresses or something like that. So right quick, guys, I do not believe that his wife was an actress in um, Jackie Brown. What I believe is that his wife was actually there assisting her brother, Robert Stevenson. He is like a makeup hairstyle guy and he has worked on several projects he has worked on jackie brown and the butler in 2013 jumper in 2008 and the deep blue sea in 1999 so she's more of a crew type person so i was like what the hell what the hell who is this woman who is this woman so let me say this about quentin tarantino he has always had a fascination with Pam Greer. I mean, she's beautiful. She's Pam Greer. Like now, I don't know what the fuck she's looking like right now. I mean, but she's like in her 70s or 80s. You can't expect for her to be like, you know, this sex vitten, fixing or kitten her whole life. You cannot expect that. But Quentin Tarantino said that he specifically made Jackie Brown for Pam Greer. Now, do I think that he been squeezing on Pam Greer throughout that whole thing? Yeah, Pam, I'm going to need you to come out and tell us. Did Quentin Tarantino try to squeeze them boobs? I need you to come out and be truthful, girl. Rashawn didn't already put it all already out there, girl. I want to see what happens now from this point. Ain't this a bitch, y'all? This ninja right here, back in 2017 when they started putting the press on Harvey Weinstein, this nigga... Pretended like he didn't know what the hell was going on. Hold on. So October 19, 2017, Quentin Tarantino, the Hollywood director most closely tied to Harvey Weinstein, has known for decades about the producer's alleged misconduct toward women and now feels ashamed he did not take a stronger stand and stop working with him. He said in an interview, you know why you didn't do it, bitch? Because you was doing it too. <laughs> Moving on. I knew enough to do more than I did. He said, citing several episodes involving prominent actresses. There was more to it than just the normal rumors. The normal gossip. It was second hand it was it wasn't second hand i knew he did a couple of these Wish things i had taken responsibility for what i heard he added if i had done the work i should have done then i would have had to not work with him why 
Because you want to be the only pussy grabber on the show? Is that why you want to be the only pussy grabber on the set, Quentin Tarantino? Oh, this is bullshit. Let me tell you something, DJ Vlad. Just move on out the way. Get your old show. Take it over there. Because this got that going comedy hype thing. Hype thing. Oh, they got you, bruh. They got you. Oh, I'm like quite intrigued about what is next with this mess. Because Quentin Tarantino is a big deal, okay? Have I always thought that that dude, you know, was a little weirdo? Yes. Do I think that he sit around, you know, sweating around beautiful black women? Yes. I never even thought the dude was ever going to get married because he loved us so much. I'm telling you. Quentin loves the Blackberry. I'm telling you. He loves us. But Quentin, what you cannot do is go around squeezing on us without permission or taking advantage of of your position because you know that women want to work in this industry and it's despicable that the casting couch still exists. So I have always been a huge fan of Quentin Tarantino. Always because he's a director that's out the box. Quentin Tarantino is the master of starting a movie in the middle and then taking it back around and it still makes sense. That's him. So many people have tried to do it and failed miserably. I mean, he's failed a couple of times, you know, like Kill Bill. You know, I told you 372. I mean, some of the movies be like, uh. Once Upon a Time in America, great movies. His movies are always kick it movies. But to think about the per, the per, the, per, the, per, the, the <clears throat> all right, lovers, if you have not already done so, please like and share this video because it is so important to my success here on YouTube. Now, remember this. The same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people that you meet on the way down. Naysayers, my patron loves Quentin Tarantino, nigga. Please try to have a good one. Deuce.